Diane. I'm going to be demonstrating sterile gloving. When you go to get your gloves for sterile gloving, please make sure of two things, size and type. Now in this case here, these are size 7 and size 8. Size 7 is about a small to medium size. Six and a half is about a size small for your hands. As you can see, I do not have small hands. I'm going to use the eight. The other thing you got to make sure is that you have gloves that are typical for yourself and for your patient. For example, if you have latex sensitivity or you have a patient who has a latex allergy, make sure these are not latex sterile gloves. So when you go to open up your package, you make sure you have the correct size. And in my case, because I'm a me uh, medium large, I'm going to use size eight. Gloves will actually go up to size nine and a half, and they're huge. So you open it up from the top, all the way down. Inside the glove is sterile. So you're going to take your glove, and you're going to put it with the number facing you, okay? And you're going to open it up. When you look at the glove, you're going to see it says left and right. Take your fingers, put them into the paper envelopes, and you're going to open it up. And there you see two gloves. One of the biggest problems people have with doing sterile gloving is the fear of, oh my God, I'm going to stand and contaminate something. Well, I want you to do as students, practice. You can get sterile gloves and you can practice. Once you get this technique down, it will lessen your anxiety when you go on to do further procedures. So using your non-dominant hand, you're going to grab inside the cuff. Put your dominant hand in first. Don't be alarmed if your fingers don't go in all the way or if they bunch up in one finger. As long as you have that glove on, we can fix the fingers and fix the, adjust the, uh, the seating of the glove once you have your both hands sterile. So this is a sterile hand. This is your clean hand. Using your sterile hand, you're going to lift. And I'm going to turn a little bit so that you can see. You put your hand inside the cup. See that? All right, now if you look here, there are my fingers, there's my thumb. Using your non-dominant hand, you put your hand in. See how I'm pulling with my hand still in the cup. Now I have two sterile hands and ready to work. Okay, so we're going to open it up. And as you can see, left, right, pull it open. And again, using your non-dominant hand, you grab inside the cuff, slide it on your dominant hand, pulling the cuff down. Using your sterile hand now, you're going to reach inside the cuff, not touching the outside. You will slide your hand up. Now, let's say we had a situation where two fingers, we had a situation like this. Don't panic, it's okay. Gloves do stretch, and you can adjust the fit. There we are, sterile and ready to go.